Well, hello there. Welcome back to Kenshi, starring Ken. A lot's happened since we last saw this bipedal fish monster. Ken here made a friend. Well, bought. He bought a friend. One whole friend. But that's more friends than he had, so... Every time I look at Ken, I have so many questions. And a lot of them involve the phrase, who let you live this long? You look like you dumpster dive at the women's shelter, Ken. Luckily, with a little hard work, Ken over here can make something of himself. And we're already off to a decent start. I did end up farming some stats between episodes. Now, there were a few speed bumps. Ah! But I like to think Ken's really grown as a person. Uh, speaking of which, I was recently told your character's appearance changes with their stats. Just imagine this monster after we grind his strength. He already looks like a walking uvula. I don't think an 8-pack is gonna fix whatever the fuck is going on with your spine, Ken. In today's video, Ken's going to become even more of a burden upon society. I've been told that stealth is an absolutely overpowered skill in this game, and... Well, let's be honest. If Ken is sneaking, that means nobody can see him, and I think we can all agree, that sounds like a net positive for everyone. Now, we're gonna start with the Ninja Tower. The Ninja Tower is the best place to train my stealth. It's also perfect for finishing Ken's weeb cosplay. I like these training dummies. Can I get these for myself? Like, just have one I can set up somewhere? Oh, hello. I'm being asked to leave the premises. I shall take my business elsewhere. There's also this garage that someone's turned into a refugee shelter. Now, I think we can all agree Ken here is worse off than any refugee ever could be. The fact I have to steal this stuff instead of them just giving it to Ken is the real crime here. Aha, uh -huh. see? Look, look at all these valuables. Those are authentic value brand cups. This man's practically drowning in luxury. He's not gonna miss any of this. I'm taking your weird eggplant too. And like a shadow, we vanish. Like the graceful sea cow, we tiptoe across town in the broad daylight where no one can see us. Now, the bartender here is the only person to show Ken any kindness since he got here. So naturally, I'm going upstairs and taking all of her shit, which is conveniently packed into these two barrels. Hello, ma'am, please, please relax. I've neatly stacked all of your stuff on the floor here. All right, I think it's time to go. Run, Ken. You don't want to have a mouth like that when you're in a jail cell. Okay, now we have to head south. We can never go back to the hub. No disguise is ever going to cover up what an absolute creature Ken is. Every wanted poster is going to have this face on it, which honestly is kind of cruel to the rest of the townspeople. We make our way back to Squin. Now, one of the few redeeming qualities about Ken is he's extremely consistent. He's consistently terrible, but he's consistent nonetheless. And I figure, since the last place we robbed was a bar, we might as well go for round two. I sent Ken up to the second floor where they keep all of the valuables. Behold the valuables! First, we take all of the fish. All of this man's- that's not good. We're gonna take all of the fish, and we're gonna stack them in this neat little pile. I'm not going to question why these people keep their seafood in a footlocker, mostly because I'm too busy wondering how the fuck they see me doing this. This feels unfair. Someone shouts that there's a thief, and the guards immediately attack the only human in the room. Why are you beating the shit out of my man? Looks like they're arresting Ken. Yep, in the cell. What are they doing to him? Congratulations, Ken. Another living being has willingly touched you. And despite how hard you just got screwed, you somehow managed to stay a virgin. Don't worry, though. Prison will probably fix that. Well, this is Ken's life now. Why does Kang have a shorter sentence than me? Like, dramatically shorter? Assault. When did I assault somebody? Was it when the guard was beating Ken into a broken heap on the floor? I'm sorry for hitting your sword with my soft, greasy body, officer. Won't happen again. I wonder what kind of prison tats you can get in Kenshi. Ken would probably get Rainbow Dash on his scrotum or something. Whatever it is, it'll be awful. Not Kang, though. Kang's way classier than that. There's a nice butterfly tramp stamp in his future. Okay, Kang, you're free. They took your weapon. Bruh, that wasn't even contraband. They just straight up stole Kang's shit. I almost feel bad for the guy. Ever since he met Ken, life for him has just been a struggle. On the other hand, he saw a man who looked like this and decided it wasn't a deal breaker. You're the reason you can't have nice things, Kang. Speaking of which, let's see how Ken's holding up. Yeah, that's about right. All right, finally, Ken's free. Fantastic. Now, while Ken sat in that cell, I had time to think of a plan. The housing market here is an absolute shit show. When all of the real estate is dilapidated crack dens, it quickly becomes a buyer's market. 
So if I can scrape together the cash, one of these houses won't just be any old mountain of crap. It'll be my mountain of crap. And in that mountain of crap, I'll build forges and all sorts of stuff that can repurpose all the shit that Ken's gonna be stealing. Step one of the process is mining copper. Or at least it was going to be until I stumbled upon this poor man. Look at him. Babbling nonsense. Ken, put him out of his misery. Jesus Christ, he's beating the piss out of poor Ken. Ken, just hit him. Stop letting him stab your ankles! How are you this useless? What hole did you crawl out of, you absolute burden? Kang, can you please thank you? I spent the day mining. Now, we sell the copper, and boom, money. I can buy a home. You can tell Ken's real excited. Look at all that pep in his step. He can barely feel where the bandit stabbed the shit out of his kneecaps. And purchased. We have a house. Uh, we have some walls and a floor. And it looks like the homeowners association is here. Wow, Ken's actually holding his own over here. We can probably get some good experience out of- Okay. You know what? We'll count that as a win. Ken, God is my witness. We will teach you how to move like a human being. Now for the next stage of my plan. Ken's going to become one with the shadows by crab walking behind this privacy curtain for several hours. I have made an important discovery. I can train Ken's thievery extremely quickly by just dropping and picking up the same item back here over and over. This is definitely how the game intended for me to progress. This is amazing. And after hours of training, Ken has fully embraced the path of the shadow. He's a whisper in an otherwise windy world. And by that, I mean he's been practicing stealth takedowns. And after literal days of building his ninja prowess, I think it's time to go for a little test drive. We carefully tiptoe through the field of enormous cacti. In the hidden cover of the broad daylight, we pick one out from the crowd. Fuck you! You don't see this! You don't see this! Turn around! We pick one out of the crowd and we act with precision and haste. 30% chance. Come on, Ken. We- <coughs> I don't know what I was expecting. His friends clearly don't give a shit, so we're just gonna go ahead and take all of his stuff. Now, crap, he woke up. This is the slowest, saddest fight I've ever seen. I mean, he's getting it done, he is winning, but Ken, just hit him. HIT HIM! He can't even block you, dude, just stab him! Yeah, there we go, that's it. Target the only part of him with any armor on, that'll do it. This man can fucking dodge, holy hell. Come on, Ken, just a few more solid hits, just a bit more. Yeah. Oh my god, Ken wanna fight? Ken actually wanna fight? Look at him, even he's confused. All right, we're gonna do this again. Oh my lord, he's a machine, he's unstoppable. They're powerless to stop him. He truly does have the power of God and anime on his side. Ah oh shit, that one didn't work. Kang, Kang, my mouth wrote some checks, bud. Gonna need some help cashing them. I think we can take them. If Ken can tank, Kang might be able to start wearing them down. Uh, unless they start doing that. Okay, this isn't going well. We'll just get them all together. Nope, that's not working. Time to run. Come on, Kang. Uh oh. Uh. Wow, he's still fighting. Kang's a goddamn trooper. Ken, that check is the only good thing you've got going for you in your life. Save your mans. Hang on, buddy. We're taking you to safety. They completely demolished Kang's leg. Jesus. I think we're going to give these two some time to rest. But all of this has been a build-up to something greater. See, I've recently learned of a faction in this game known as the Holy Nation. They're an entire empire made up of my Pentecostal distant relatives and, well, Ken here wouldn't be a Reddit mod if he wasn't the loudest, most obnoxious anti-theist he could possibly be. They've earned his ire. He heard one of them shit talk WandaVision. So now, he's gonna become a domestic terrorist. And before he can commit his first hate crime, he needs to train a bit. I've obtained a body for Ken, don't ask where. For the next hour or so, I'm gonna be waking him up, knocking him out, and just doing that on loop. This is definitely not legal. I don't know if you've noticed Ken's great big monster hands. They aren't good for much, but they are good at braining people who are much weaker than him. After giving the same man a concussion 87 times, we move on to even more stealth training. There's a dust bandit camp next to the river. The perfect way to level Ken sneaking is to just stand over here and do donuts around this mound of dirt. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's fucking insane. That is absolutely nuts. It goes even faster if I just move like this. I think I just gained 30 levels of sneaking in like 5 minutes. Ken is the fucking knight now. This is gonna be great. Come on, Ken. Just tiptoe over. That's right. 
That's it, and... He's mine! He's mine now! Come along, paladin! Your friends don't give a fuck about you! This poor man, I'm about to put him through so much shit. Come on, it's safe. Yeah, yeah, I left. I'm not here. Go ahead. Wake up. <laughs> this isn't funny. I shouldn't be enjoying this as much as I am. But look, he just, he just keeps getting up. Dude, swallow your pride. I'll get bored eventually. Oh, and he's gone. Beat his ass! Oh my god, when you break their arms, it makes them Naruto run. This is so morbid. Ken, have some mercy for the poor man. I'm probably gonna be doing this for a while. In the meantime, this is probably a good place to end this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all for the nice comments on the last video. I wasn't sure if this was something you'd all be interested in, but I'm glad to see it was worth the effort. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and share this video with your friends. A big shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You're the big strong Sheck man that we all deserve in our lives. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all next time.